What's up guys? Hope everyone is doing well who's watching this today. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. This is all the blue uh, kind of greenish glass that I've found. Um, the top bottles at least over the last three years of diving. As you can see in the front we've got some torpedoes um, and we've got uh, a lot of soda squats here, um, medicine bottles, uh, coffin flasks to wine bottles up there, pop bottles. Uh, I've just kind of found a whole bunch kind of all over Nova Scotia. I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, some of my favorites that I found over the years. Obviously this one here, if you've been watching the channel, this is one of my favorites. It's a James Rui torpedo bottle. It's a soda on the other side. This is my most prized bottle that I've ever found. Um, even though it has a slight chip in it, uh, I still love it. I've got another intact one there. This one here was actually gifted to me by a diving legend, Bob Chalk. And you can kind of see the difference between a torpedo that's been in the ocean for over 100 years and one that's been in, in fresh water. So that's kind of cool to have the difference of those. This would be my probably my second most favorite bottle. It's a HW Glendinning bottle with the embossed Halifax NS on it. It's in perfect condition, likely around 1850s. Uh, just a beautiful bottle that's still intact. I can't believe it. Uh, so I love that. And then I've got all my soda squats here. I do love these, like the Thomas Nash uh, Superior Lemonade that I found on my birthday this year. Uh, this one was his brother, John Nash, and I found that out snorkeling um, out at McNabb's Island. We've got a bottle from West 35th Street, New York, in eight, from on 1861, uh, to some other soda water bottles there. Uh, and then we've got the Hutchinsons, which I also love. I love finding a Hutchinson. And most of the time they're embossed. So we've got, you know, a WH Donovan here, Halifax NS. I found a couple of those now. AJ Davis was like this wealthy entrepreneur who bottled um, ginger beer and other soda water on McNabb's Island and pop and stuff. So I found a couple of his now. Uh, this is another John Nash bottle here. You can kind of see it there and it's uh, just perfect condition. It's been smoothed over time in the sand. Um, Felix J. Quinn right there. There's a lot of his bottles uh, all over Nova Scotia. Like there's another example of one there. And um, be careful here, oops. So these are some kind of like some medicine bottles. These are like this one says genuine essence. Uh, what does that one say? Nervaline right there. Um, I found this one in the Halifax Harbor on the Dartmouth side. Pendleton's Panacea. There's like some kind of quack medicine uh, that contained probably like morphine or alcohol in it. Um, we've got some inkwells and some other kind of more modern pop bottles. This one, for example, says uh, Moxie on it to some pickle and preserving jars right over there. And back to the other side here, yeah, there's with the coffin flasks and this tiny little bottle there. Um, and this is my most, my most recent one is a Dr. Wilson's Irvine Bitters uh, bottle there that I found just a couple days ago. So yeah, the collection is growing. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really been loving uh, diving for all these. It just, these bottles are just so cool in my opinion. And um, I love learning about the history of them. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of show off the collection because I know a lot of you've been asking to kind of see some of this. So here it is. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of short little video and I'll see you on the next one.